All right, hello once again, YouTube. Welcome back to some more from the depths. Now, uh, in our previous episode, we ran into a slight problem, which was that we ran into a pretty heavy coastal gun battery, or maybe not very heavy, but heavy enough that we couldn't feasibly fight it with our um, primarily torpedo armed destroyers and PT boats. We need a gunboat, and for that, we're going to build our first light cruiser. This will be loosely based. Uh, oh, that's some extra blocks now. Oh yeah, of course, from the mods. Uh, this will be loosely based on the Condottori uh, Italian light cruiser. We're going to be using roughly the same measurements. I'm going to budget out 250000 for this, but I don't know what it's actually going to cost us in total. I think we will be able to build one at that price if we uh, pull our resources that we have currently. Or well, at least we won't have to wait long to be able to build one anyway. So, we're looking at a length of 187-ish metres. We'll aim for something. That's the length of our destroyer at the moment. We'll aim for 188. That'll be fine. At its widest, it is 18 meters, which should be what that. 17. That'll be fine. Uh, and a bunch of other specs that are not so important. Uh, the draft is really not important on this because we'll just. If it's wide, if it's X wide, it's X wide. Cut those off. Uh, I may end up having to alt tab a little bit to um to look up some details on this one potentially, but should be okay. So uh, I believe it is also. Oh no, I can I can scroll. Okay, cool. Got the uh, Wikipedia stats up to to see roughly what we're looking at with this one. So. Is that too big? If we save that... No, no, that's right, because the we looked up the the German one, the Prince Eugen. Is it Prince Eugen? Is that the right one? No, Admiral Hipper, which is a he heavy uh, cruiser. Um, and that's about 210, so this is about right. So, we need to... Well, first thing I need to check is the guns, see where we're going to need to make space for. Yeah, that was it. Four turrets. Four twin turrets. Okay, front is at this end. Let's start building a bit of a shape for it. Probably go... Could go two meter... No, we could probably go one, actually, for a couple of couple of blocks at the front. We go up to there as that, and then we go to two meter. For a couple... We'll go to four meter. No, three meter even. Wanna have a nice smooth curve. These are basically a big oblong. Big oval even. I guess that'd be yeah, I guess oval would be the right word for it, right? We're gonna go for that, except we're gonna use those um uh slopey things. Sort of that's sort of nearly right. We could even go potentially A bit of a gap to shallow it out. Nah, I don't know if that looks right. We'll, we'll do that for now. Um, we could even consider this the top and then work downwards. Well, a big bit to cut out, but we could potentially do that. Use that to get the right curve. Yeah, we'll maybe try that. Okay. So we need the... Is it the 4 to 3? No, we want the formula offset. That was it. We assume that deep for the main hull. Work with that. Should be alright. Oh wait, three meter. It's three for two, isn't it? We'll make sure the armor on the ship is probably two blocks thick at minimum, or at least on the main hull. Uh, because the in-game heavy cru uh, cruisers definitely have heavier armor than our destroyer does at any rate, and our destroyer does not feel particularly heavily armored. <laughs> I'm going to try for a fairly solid armor layout.
Yeah, that appears to be a hull indeed. Uh, right. The rear, we need to work out how to start curving it down. I suppose we normally do the uh, the offsets, but the slope in the middle, don't we? If we did the if we did the same off same slope pattern, uh, we could even yeah no same slope pattern. I believe it was one, two, three of those. I think it might be slightly different, but that's fine. even make it deliberately a bit sharper at the back or we'll differentiate the two ends a little bit again the uh design is very roughly based on a real ship but the actual shape it's pretty much just up to imagination yeah if we leave that as a three and then only go to a four at the last one save that oh yeah oh nine this will be our light Actually, uh, probably at this size, it's probably a normal cruiser at this point, right? We'll call this the cruiser. We can potentially make a mid variant in between the two if we need to later. Uh, right. Yeah, and then we sort of square it off a bit, square the curve off. What is the best way to do that? Yeah, something like that would be great, actually. Um, yeah, uh, that's not the one. Uh, yeah, that's it. Either is it those are the ones that, yeah. Yeah, so I guess we just go from the straight to, um... Yeah, if we go to different lengths of slopes, that should have a nice bit of a... There you go, yeah, that kind of still looks like it has a, a bit of a curve to it. I'll also clearly merge into the shape we want it to be. Now, if we have the... Uh, yeah. Yeah, these will descend more like regular slopes, and then we put these offsets beneath them. I think that will work. We go to a what is it? Three meter. Oh, what was it? Three meter inverse transition. Is that the right one? No. God, what was this block? This is a. Was it a one to two meter slope? Three meter slope. Yes. No. I think that's. Yeah, I think that's right. Okay. Well, this is a this is a mind mind scratcher. This one mind scratcher. I don't know what you call it. Mind bender. We want the four to. Oh god, I can never remember which one it is. That one, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, here, I'm not so sure. Three meter offset. To the bottom of it. I guess that's right. No, that doesn't look right at all. Uh, we'll go back to that bit in a minute. Right. I don't know. I think that is the next bit to do. Um, Yeah, I think that's right. That sort of slopes, and then it. it's got a bit of an off curve on it, but that's fine. We don't go two meter wedge. Oh, one meter wedge. No, these are the ones that go straight across, don't they? 
But yeah, is this where we need these? Is this where we now need... Two meter offset left? No. I feel like one of these bits is the right piece to go here, and I'm not quite sure. It's that, isn't it? It's, um... No, we need that bit facing this way. Yeah, okay. Is that correct? I think so. Not quite sure what shape we've ended up with here, but I think this is correct. Okay, I see what we're doing here. We're using the offsets, but flat, basically. Okay. Uh, I think that should work all right. Yeah, okay, I see. Trying to work out how your own geometry has worked out. a little repetitive, but uh, it's a slightly awkward bit. Oh, actually, this bit. Um, oh. Hmm. That's fine. We can actually redo this bit. This will look better, because now we know what we're doing with it. I think. Something actually closer to the slope we wanted. All the way up to the back. Although that top bit may still have been correct, actually, on reflection. Uh, was that one of those? No, that was different, wasn't it? That was, yeah, that was one of those. What the heck piece fills that gap? That one? Yeah, okay. Cool. It was actually a little bit nicer than I thought it would be. In fact, I might even be tempted to chop this back a bit and have this match the shape properly. that in a moment. Right. We've got a little bit of a lip here, which is not really intentional, but it's fine. It has a bit of a, a nice look to it itself. I think we're on to normal slopes. Oh. I need a lot of these transition bit blocks that I'd never used in a, before I even started this campaign, like basically at all. Um... Yeah, we'll just do the edges because we're going to chop out the, the centre of that deck anyway. Yeah, I think we can actually save this and start cutting that deck out now. I might fill in the bottom just to make sure there's enough mass down there that it doesn't decide, hey, you want to take out the the sides, right? And just take, keep that big top piece. It's like, no. It's like, no, I did not. Right. Let's chop that. Oh, okay, four was the right way to do it. Hang on, if I do control H, yeah, as I say, can I do something like that to chop out blocks? And the answer is yes. Okay. That looks reasonably alright for a recurve, apart from that slightly odd. How did we end up with this? Is that a different block? It is. Okay, so I've ended up with a different block there. But you know what? We can maybe even use that as um, the level to put the uh, propellers on, potentially. Right, so now let's put the side walls in. I guess we need to decide if we want any casemate guns as well. We plan to have four turrets, but we could also definitely add some casemates to the hull. Uh, it looks like the original doesn't have any, but again, we're only loosely basing on that. Our budget was, what did I say, two and a half? No. Yeah, two and a half, a hundred thousand. 250,000. I suppose that'd be a better way of putting it. How are we looking on that so far? 25,000. Okay, so we haven't used much of our budget at all. 
Even assuming roughly double that to thicken up the hull at 50,000, we're still plenty fine for weapons and things. And we are going to do that. It won't leave us with a tremendous amount of internal space, but you just don't need much in this uh, campaign, as we've already discovered. So let's thin those down for the moment. Let's get rid of those just so we know exactly how thick the hull's got to be, and we'll we'll do the uh, hull, th we'll do the armor thickening. I'll do that in a nice bright, noxious color, uh, but which I mean our own fleet color. Yeah, if we use our fleet red as the internal color, right, and then we use the gray on the outside, then we can tell which bits we've done. We do. Use fill to speed some sections up. We do need to do the outside before we can do that. Uh, the slight bits at the rear and front, however, not so much. We're not going to be able to cheat those. Right, fill. We also have to check it floats with the uh, weight of armor it has now. As long as it does, we should be pretty good. It's quite a quite a square blocky hull. It's not as smooth a curve as we could potentially do, but it's fine. Don't mind looking a bit square. They still look alright. It's all better than a lot of the stuff I built. Right. And then, yeah, now we start filling in these bits. Filling in the gaps. Three. Give me da, da, ba, da, ba, da, da, ba, da, ba, da, ba, da. We'll need the blocks. We could potentially also do the sort of semi citadel style armoring that I'd seen in the other cruiser, where they've actually got the they've got sloped armor over some of the internals to actually provide an extra bit and also a chance of deflecting away fire. I don't know. Does the underside of our ship need? Probably doesn't need extra armor, right? At least not on this. Maybe on the battleship, but... I don't think the very base of the hull actually needs the extra armor. So I think we need to cover all of this. That's a better way to do this bit, and then we go... Actually, this is better. Two meter... Oh. Okay, nice and tough up there. The rear of the ship. Front just as tough as well. Oh, have we done that already? We've done that already. Okay, cool. So vehicle, let's add a water pump, then we'll start doing what we did with the previous ship, which is start laying out the internals where everything's going to be. As of all of our ships, it will be steam pad. Float chest. Yeah, fine. Perfectly fine. Should be okay once we start adding extra stuff. I think we were using a... Oh, pardon me. I don't know if we were using helium pumps, but I've seen the enemy ships using it, and we might well do that as well. It's quite a uh, smart idea more buoyancy out of the area. Right. So, let's think. We want four turrets. The secondary ones are going to be want to raise... They're going to want to be raised by about two blocks. How big a turret can we fit in this? Where's the... How big will look right as well? I think we use five meters on destroyer, so we could potentially go to seven meters on this, I suppose. Oh, come on. Where are they? New blueprints? No. Sub-objects? Sub-objects. There we go. Oh, mind you, the ship's taller. We could just go for five meters again, right? They don't need to be tremendously powerful. Is that going to be too... That feels too large for me, proportionally. I think we're going to go for five meters again. Which is pretty simple. That was pretty much just a... Close to the front of the ship, they got them sort of about there. Probably is about right. Yeah, and the, the bits you can't build in are the corners, basically. Put this in at a mark. 
don't build here. It's made from blue, so it's a different colour. Right. Uh, oh. Second one is going to want to be raised a little bit. They are quite... They are pretty close together. I'll leave um, just two blocks on this, I think. Actually, let's leave a third. I like to leave three blocks between the turrets. They might look a little far apart, but it's fine. Again, we're not going to need... I don't know quite how much space we're going to need, but we're not going to need a huge amount. We will probably try and mount torpedoes on our cruiser. Uh, I don't know whether the original had any. Hang on. Weapon list. What do you have to tell me? You had... Armament. Armament. Where's armament? Come on. Just the... Just the main guns? Really? Wow, just those. Okay. Apparently, that doesn't seem quite right. Oh, mind you, is this World War One era? Is this, no, this was mid-war, wasn't it? 28. Yeah, okay, so it might not have had much AA. Yeah, then that's fine. That's fair. Yes, yeah, so if we go up one more, we'll build this into a proper case, mate, later. Um... around the outside or something and then we'll put in a floor a little bit up so I can just drop the gun turret straight in don't have to worry about raising it or whatever we can just design one turret they'll actually perform identically don't have to chop them apart or whatever can even add a little bit of a um there's that air one we will indeed put hydro helium in it a little bit of an air gap underneath the turret why not right Then we will do... I'll take out the blue, I know where those are going to be. I can copy it, not have to take them out in the copy. Right. Uh, prefab mode. Uh, width down, length up to... Not that much. Height quite a bit. So we're quite near the back, I think. We'll leave a bit of space at the rear for the um uh, for the engines. We'll also divide up the ship a little bit now. Uh, right. Lightweight alloy. We'll have armored decks on this one as well, not just wood. Right. If we do a divining wall at the turrets, and we could put one in between the turrets as well. I think it's worth having quite a bit. We'll see to remember to add some uh, some doors like we were doing on the previous one later on. I'll try and remember to do that when we get decorations. Right. Make sure we're, done. we're not flooding large sections of the ship if we're hit. Have quite a few uh, air compartments. Right. Now we need the same at the front. What are these? Five, oh, five. Yeah, they're not. Cost is not an issue with these. Okay, gotcha. If you turns out to be too strong, we'll replace them back to water. But... I don't know quite how big that section is going to be, but we'll do that for now. Float at the moment. Does it actually work like water pumps, or do we actually have to enclose the area for them to even work? Not sure. Not convinced they're working as is actually. They have to be enclosed. Is that the downside? Oh, okay. So they provide more. Must not be exposed to water. Okay, yeah, no. Helium is a bad idea. We're absolutely going to get holes poked in us. Helium is a bad idea. No, we'll go for good old-fashioned air pumps. We can leave them for the uh, the little space under the turret. That's fine. Yeah, it's floating a lot. 
lot better. That's not lagging as much either. Right. So we have space for our turrets. We do need to decide... I guess for the middle section, we'll mount the... Um, uh, oh, what do you call them? We will maybe mount some torpedoes. Because I think otherwise we're going to have a lot of dead space that's not doing anything. And we'll have some secondary guns and things. But we, I think I said before that the cru cruisers are often used for AA. We definitely want that to be the case. Oh, we do need an AI section and a magazine. We'll mount those now. While I'm thinking about it. So, AI. Probably doesn't really even need that much space. Um... I might even reduce it to a small, very dense box with angled armor on the top so that it can hopefully deflect some shots at it. Yeah, you just really kind of don't need much. Like, a lot of the components that had to be quite large and based from the depths just really don't have to be in this one. I guess we could have an antenna inside here, right? That will do that on the air radar mast. Yeah, these might even just be three meters, and then again we'll slope the sides. Slope the top, even. Yeah, good luck criticaling that. Right. We'll also... Slope the sides. Right. Then, behind that, behind another separating air gap... So I think they actually need the armor a bit more, uh, which is the ammunition. This is an ammunition box. resource storage behind it, just regular resources. Uh, coal for the engines, why not? That will set it up in one of our little... looks a bit like a coal hopper of some sort. Bits. Uh, oh, that's too close. We need to be there, there, and there. We want to put another air gap in between the two, because can't be too careful with that. Let's try and make a ship that's really resilient to flooding. And this will protect the resources a tiny bit and prevent <coughs> that something gets through the hole. And it should also mean that centre mass, where they're aiming for, doesn't have much in it. The actual centre mass is going to be not much. Right. I'm saying things that sound right, and then I think about them, and I'm not so sure. Right. Why not? And then we want the twos on top. Not whether I will need an internal citadel, but you know what? We'll do it anyway. Why not? Let's show this off. This is a real thing needs to do on ships. So. Going to put it on our magazine and our AI. So, assuming that we're going to get hit from slightly above waterline. Because the shells that hit the water will probably be stopped mostly. We go on a slope like that. Actually, this is probably metal, shouldn't it? It probably needs to be tough enough to withstand a hit. And then we go like this. And we build a bit of a, like a hill. An internal hill over the uh, fragile thing you wish to protect. Uh, optional extra sloping. Uh, we'll leave that like that. And voila! A very simple bit of uh, citadel style armoring. I think that's right. I think that's the right word for it anyway. 
should mean that our AI and our magazine are pretty beef. Pretty beefy, considering the side of the hull is also two blocks thick already. We are a little front heavy. So we may need to make sure that maybe uh, maybe have a larger rear bridge or some funnels at the rear of something. Oh, we've got to fit the engine. Um, yeah, now ideally we'd have the engine. We could port steam through past the turrets. I don't know how ideal that is, but it would certainly be better for the weight balance to have the boilers just here and then have the, um, the gearboxes and things at the very back. I might do that. Let's try that. So... Now, we know the boilers produce quite a lot of steam. We don't need to go that big. So we'll go one, two, three, four. And then what we'll do is we'll run the piping through the uh, through these. We'll put the pistons at the actual rear of the ship. So steam piping, hull pipe, there, there, there. This might be a terrible idea. It exposes the pipes a bit more, but... I don't know that we've got much space in there to actually just put them all in there. Uh, alternately, we could do... I don't know, because I like the direct drive. Especially given that we're trying to do it somewhat realistically. I like the idea of having direct steam drive. I don't know how efficient it is as well if we're, just, if we're wasting a step generating power from it and then running the engines from it. Yeah, we're going to try and do direct drive still. I know this is a little awkward, but we'll try it. If it turns out to be awkward, if it turns out to be a real weak spot, we'll change it, though. It could also be worth putting some... Um... Yeah, what we will do, though, to make sure it doesn't break again, because we need to bounce the weight out of it anyway, we'll add a little bit of extra armor where this pipe is. A little bit of spaced armor. Oh. Put it all the way back to there and then just level it with the rest of the hull. If the cost was still fine, right. And we'll do the same here just to protect the boilers anyway. Add a door later as well. Right. We'll do a proper decorations around on this later as well. Uh, and then, yeah, we'll go over the top as well. Just a little bit. So I have four repair bots on it, the uh, cruiser. I believe is what I said for uh, cruiser class ships, four repair bots. I don't want to go too mad on them, but I do want the ships to be able to self-repair themselves a little bit. Just so they can repair a little bit outside of battle. Like I say, the, the spirit of things, but we've still got to, still got to build competitive. So I bought something good. Uh, nice, even. It's not tremendously durable, but again, they might take one hit and save a pipe, so... Okay, the infinite resources. Right. Yeah, at the moment, it's going to be wasting a lot of steam. Right, so... We're going to try for the medium pistons this time. We've got a bit more height. We'll build these vertically. Uh, steam engines. Where the heck is... There we go. Oh yeah, where do we want the propellers? We were considering putting them there on that line. So that a bit high up, mind you. By the time we've by the time we've installed the full ship systems, I think that'll be about right. So we'll put them here. With a bright lime green heavy armor block where they're going to intersect with the hull. That's where we'll let the shaft go through. Right. So the engines, wherever they go to, need to end up there. Uh, we'll build backwards from the propeller, I think. Steam, 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 steam engines. Oh, actually, no, we won't. We're out of time for the episode. Hopefully, though, you can see where we're going with this. Uh, hopefully you've all been enjoying. If you have any suggestions for the cruiser, I don't know that I'll be able to respond to them in time to do any major changes, but as usual, I do listen to feedback. I will change minor things. So if there's anything you guys have to suggest for it, do let me know. Uh, we could potentially even use it for future ships. This is our standard cruiser, so we can always do it for a heavy cruiser later, potentially. And yeah, I'll see you guys all again in the next one.
Goodbye.